Hi, these comments are for Z-A-K. I am Michael from BetterTofelScores.com, free high-quality TOEFL lessons. And you're doing, it looks like, integrated speaking practice. And I'm going to listen to your practice test right now. It is finals week at California State University, San Bernardino. So I'm pretty busy, but I'm setting time aside to listen to your practice test. You are one of my um, online TOEFL course students. And let's see how you're doing here. So I listened to the practice test one time without making any comments. Then the second time, I will give you some feedback. The professor talks about two ways that enable carnivorous plants to get their nutrients. The first one is by uh, active trap. For example, the venous fly uh, has a special feature in their leaves that uh, could uh, actively open and close, like a mouth. And when the insect attracted by the sweet nectar from the leaves, uh, from the secretion of the leaves, it will um, digest, it will uh, trap it, uh, uh, these leaves will close on the insect after they land on its leaf and uh, enable the plant to digest this uh, insect and get their food. The second uh, way is by passive uh, trap. The, for, for instance, the sun plant has also a uh, sweet nectar attract the insect and when the insect lie on the leaves, these leaves has the gullio, uh, makes the insect to gullio and digest their food. All right, so I, 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 I'm thinking in the two area here. Uh, what sticks out at me is speech uh, you have problems with pronunciation, intonation, and pacing that requires effort. I think that's a problem. Language use, you have some problems with either grammar or vocabulary in terms of explaining your ideas. And I think you might have resulted in either mis misrepresenting or not completely explaining the information there. So. That's kind of where I think you are right now. I'm going to put you at 15 to 17 points out of 30 on this practice test. L listen to it one more time. The professor talks about two ways that enable carnivorous plants to get their nutrients. So provided two ways that these plants, I'm going to say get their nutrients there. Let's listen to it again. The professor talks about two ways that enable carnivorous plants to get their nutrients. Two ways that these plants get their nutrients. There's no need for an infinitive there. You need to use a verb in that case, the present tense there. And I'm having trouble understanding the name of the plant, the species. The first one is by uh, active trap. For example... The, the first is by what? See, I'm having some trouble there, too. Plant to get their nutrients. The first one is by uh, active trap. For example, the venous fly... Uh, the venous fly trap is how you want to say that. ...has a special feature in their leaves that... Uh, the venous fly trap has a special feature in its leaves. So you said the venous fly trap is singular there and then say it's not there so that's a pronoun agreement issue could uh, actively open and close like a mouth okay and when the insects attracted by the and when the insects are attracted by you need to use passive voice there because you have the subject when the insects are attracted by the plant or the mouth of the plant so you need passive there sweet nectar from the leaves uh, from the secretion of the leaves it will um, digest it will uh, no wait a minute let's go back to it let's look at did you say insect is singular or plural it has a special feature in their leaves that uh, could uh, actively open and close like a mouth and when the insects attracted now you i think you said when insects 
are attracted, right? You say when insects are attracted by the sweet nectar from the leaves, uh, from the secretion of the leaves, it will they will um, digest. It will uh, trap it. Uh, uh, this leaves will close on. No, no, this is big problems. I'm now going to just two two point zero. So you're you're trying to say that these insects are attracted by the sweet nectar in the Venus flytrap. So they get close to the plant. So when these insects get close to the plant or even land on the leaves of the plant, then the plant closes. It closes and captures the insects inside of the mouth of the plant. That's what you're trying to say, but you couldn't quite get it out with your limited grammar and vocabulary. The insect, after the land on its leaf and uh, enable the plant to... Using a lot of and, uh, and, uh. So be careful about using too many ands in the same speaking practice test. It shows that you have limitations with your grammar. If you're using and, you're using it to create, in many cases, a compound sentence with two independent clauses. That's fine, but don't use all compound sentences in your speaking task. You want to use a combination of simple, compound, and complex sentence types in your speaking. That's going to show the speech rater and the IBT human rater you have a little bit better control over your sentence structure. To digest this uh, insect and get their food. The second uh, way is by passive uh, trap. The, for, for instance, the sun plant has also uh, sweet nectar attract the insect and has sweet nectars which will attract the insects. When the insect lie on the leaves, these leaves has the gullu, uh, makes the insect to gullude and digest their food. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to even adjust it even more here. As I listen to it the second time, there's even more problems. A lot of problems explaining the information I think with adequate vocabulary and grammar and explaining the information in a way that doesn't require a lot of listener effort I have to go back and re-listen and listen again and uh, it's just tough it's tough to understand what you're saying right so I'm gonna put you at 1.522 right so I'm gonna say you're probably somewhere between 13 and 15 points out of 30 on this particular practice test.